I've had a outbreak of cyanobacteria and I just wanted to help you guys with it and tell you guys how I fix my problem. This is cyanobacteria. It's also known as cyanophyta and it's a phylum of bacteria that it obtains its energy through photosynthesis and it's the only photosynthetic prokaryotes that are able to produce oxygen. The name of cyanobacteria comes from its color of cyan. Cyan is a blue or greenish color. Yet in reef tanks, we usually call cyanobacteria red slime algae because of its different appearance in saltwater reefs. It's called algae because it's very similar to other forms of algae, even though it is a bacteria. As you can see, this is cyanobacteria in a reef tank. You can clearly see why it's called red slime algae. Cyanobacteria usually forms in badly circulated areas of a reef tank where it can spread and get out of hand. It can also spread in a reef tank because of high nitrates or phosphates, usually from the death of an animal or for feeding, or from low output lights, usually because they are old. Make sure you maintain a regular bulb changing schedule unless you have good LEDs. Three great ways to avoid red slime algae are maintaining weekly consistent water changes, feeding at a regular rate, and maintaining your equipment, especially your lights. If you ever do find yourself with some red slime algae, it's not the end of the world. First, test your nitrates and phosphates. I recommend the Salifert test kits. I've been using them for all my testings and they've been working very well. Your nitrate should be tested around 5 to 10 ppm and your phosphate should be around 0.05 or 0.01 ppm. If your phosphates and nitrates are higher, then simply just do an extra water change and make sure water you're changing in has low nitrate and phosphate. If that wasn't your problem, make sure that the area your red slime algae is spreading has enough flow. If you think that isn't the problem either, make sure your lights are good and do a water change and try to siphon out, siphon out as much cyanobacteria that you can. If you want to wipe it out completely, try Chemiclean. Chemiclean sucks all the air out of your tank and kills bacteria. But please make sure you put an air stone in your tank so your fish do not suffocate. In my time dealing with cyanobacteria, I did a water change and siphoned out almost all of the bacteria. I also checked the levels, but they were fine. Finally, I replaced my T5 bulbs, and that did the trick. Now I can wait peacefully until another day where a pest abruptly interrupts me. Have a good day. That was Tank Team. Goodbye.